Hello guys, I am back again to keep you updated uh, with the latest trending news. What is going on in Nigeria? So wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. You know me, I am always saying it the way I see it. Today is 10 August 2021. So, Ohanize to IPOB, discontinue sit at home order, explore other means to support Namdi Kanu. You have seen it, all right? Now, um, when I got this story, the headline, the first thing that came into my mind was that, um, is this, are they not the same people who behave like there was nothing wrong when Namdi Kanu was illegally abducted? sent to nigeria are they not the same people why are they begging ipob now earlier on um it was um abia state governor yes Ikwezu, to ipob begging them to discontinue uh the sit at home order remember it's every monday and they have seen total compliance what happened in the southeastern part of nigeria i mean that shows that even the southeast governors they are not even in control of that region i never lie you what happened yesterday have shown and they have seen it themselves i'm talking about the southeast governor that they are not even in charge of the region they are not just like um one human rights lawyer asking southeast governors to resign that they are not in control. They cannot govern their people. Even when they threaten their people, doing gra gra this and that, there was total compliance. With that alone, with that alone, it has proven to them, not only to them, to entire world, entire Nigeria, that they are not, not just because they are governors, that they are not in control of that region. Of course, it has proven to them. All right, so um, so far so good. I quickly want to share with you. After um, Abia State Governor begged IPOB, Ohanize Ndibo also have begged IPOB. Now they are begging. When uh, Namdekan was illegally abducted, okay, we know the story. None of them was saying anything, forgetting that. In every action, there is always a consequence. Now, what are they begging? Why are they begging IPOB now? Why? Okay, without wasting much of your time, um, let me quickly uh, read what the National Publicity Secretary of Ohanize, Chief Alex, said um, in a chat with The Punch, today being Tuesday. All right, um, he condemned the killings, what happened, the attack on the people of Southeast uh, what happened yesterday, Monday, all right? Uh, that is from the National Publicity Secretary. So let me read his statement for you. I quickly want to update you. If you have anything, you can put it down in the comment section below. So in quote, we are sad that we lost yet other lives to the process. Violence is not to be celebrated in any way at all. We have always urged them IPOB to trade on the side of caution because we believe that dialogue and deliberations are better ways of achieving result. All right. That was what um, uh, Ohanize said. So Obina said shutting down the socioeconomic activities of the region was not the best way for IPOB to show support for Namdi Kanu. All right. He said Ohanize's position is that it should not continue. It is not necessary. Destroying the socioeconomic activities of the Southeast. There are other ways to express in support to Namdi Kanu. Short of shutting down the socioeconomic activities of the Southeast. We are aware that people from Cameroon, people from other parts of Nigeria, are in the Southeast for commercial purposes. This disruption is not good for the development of the Southeast. It is adding hardship to the people. Even yesterday, Monday, many people didn't take the NECO examination because of the sit-at-home order. 
We have appealed to IPOB. Let me read that again. We have appealed to IPOB to reconsider that statement, sweet well, well. We have appealed to IPOB to reconsider its position and rather have a collective deliberation and come to a consensus on how to further press its demands short of this robbing economic activities. That is a statement. I really don't want to comment on some things here, all right? Because if I should comment, they will talk say I or uh, some people will say I talk too much, all right? So I quickly want to make this quick. The same people that feel Namdi Kanu, ah, they have arrested him. People was thinking the real problem of Nigeria was Namdi Kanu. So now that they have uh, abducted him, now that they have detained him, the question is, what has changed positively? That is the question we should ask. That is number one. All right? That is number one. Or now that they have um, detained Namdi Kanu, has it stopped the agitation? That is the number two. Just like what the same thing that happened in South Africa. This is the same thing. When um, Nelson Mandela was uh, detained for years, it did not stop the agitation. Black South Africans were pressing until Nelson Mandela was released. They were pressing on, irrespective of what happened, until Nelson Mandela was released. So holding Namdi Kanu, to be frank, it, it doesn't solve any issue. It doesn't solve anything when it comes to IPOB. When it comes to IPOB, just like what um, uh, Simon Ekpa said, that they have gotten to a point, I think it was Namdi Kanu that said it, some time ago on the um, channel's television interview, all right? I think before IPOB was proscribed according to the Nigerian government, that they have gotten to a point of no return. Of course, that was what Namdi Kanu said. And like Sirius, from what we are seeing, those people, IPOB has gotten to a point of no return. With or without Namdi Kanu. So people were thinking now that we have gotten their leader, everything will... No, it is even fueling up. Yes, it is fueling up. But let me know what you guys think about um, the stand of Ohani Zendibo um, begging IPOB to please, all right, to please discontinue the seat at home because they have seen total compliance. Them themselves, the leaders, they know that they are not even in control of that region again. They have seen it. The governors, those governors, personally, I will resign. Of course, I will resign to see that you guys are not in control of your state again. But IPOB is in control now. Man, so, so disgraceful. All right, let me know what you guys think. See you in another video.